All right, everybody, hello, and welcome to Instapot with Poonam. I am home alone today, and I really needed a quick meal, and um, my husband and the kids aren't gonna be coming back, so one of the really quick and easy meals that I uh, like is a mixed vegetable quinoa. Uh, it's really good with yogurt or on its own, and so you can reference the um, basics video for quinoa and go ahead and have that made in your fridge, or you can make it the same day. But we're basically gonna um, just mix some veggies in, saute it for a little bit, and then we're gonna be done and good and ready to eat. Let's first review what I throw into the quinoa. You can pick and choose what you would like. Um, I have some frozen mixed vegetables that you can get from anywhere. I have some fresh spinach chopped up, cilantro, tomatoes, jeera or cumin, and salt. And then at the end we'll put in some lime and then we're gonna be ready to go. So I um, have already turned on the Instapot to saute mode and you're just gonna stay here um, throughout this whole process. And so first what we can do is throw in the jeera and just get that heated up. The oil is already in here heated up. You can hear it sizzling. You can also add some garlic in here if you like that variation. I'm not really in the mood for garlic today so I'm not gonna put that. And then once the jeera is kind of sizzling and slowing down, you can throw the quinoa in. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And when I had made my quinoa, I did not have any salt, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the salt. And all of the ingredients and the amounts will be at the bottom of the video when you're watching. So you can always reference that. So I'm just gonna get that salt and cumin mixed up real good. And then I'm gonna throw in the spinach, tomatoes, frozen veggies, and the cilantro. This is a really good, fast, nutritious meal. You can throw any vegetables you want. My mom likes to throw potatoes in here. Some people like to throw eggplant. Uh, so it's literally up to you what veggies you wanna use, but you can make quinoa any way you like it. And so we can let it cook here for two minutes, and then we're gonna come back, throw the lime on it, and mix it up, and we're gonna be ready to serve. All right, everybody, so it's been about two or three minutes. You're still on saute mode. You can open up your lid. You can start smelling all the ingredients in the pot, but like you can see that everything's all mixed up real good. All the veggies are now cooked. And so you can now turn off your Instapot. And now that it's off, I go ahead and squeeze the lime on top. So you can squeeze um, one lime in here and mix it up real good. And Ready to go. Easy way to clean this um, pot. I don't know if I've touched base on that tip is that you can stick the stainless steel pot that goes inside the Instapot in your dishwasher. And so you don't even have to hand scrub this pot. You can dump everything in a container after you're done eating and then throw the pot in the dishwasher. So we're gonna stir that lime up. And I like to eat this with yogurt, plain yogurt. Um, you can eat it on its own, it's up to you. I just like having a little bit of cool yogurt on top and it's really good. But that basics video for quinoa will really get you a good textured quinoa, so go ahead and reference that before you make this and you'll see that your grains will be um, really nice and separate and not mushy and the consistency or the texture of it is really nice. So I hope you enjoy the mixed vegetable quinoa. Again, you can add some garlic into this, some ginger into this, any vegetables that you'd like and do it the same way that I just did it. And I hope that you really do enjoy that quick and easy nutritious meal. So if you'd like to look at the recipe below, make sure you reference that. Uh, please subscribe and continue to watch us. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.